Diaries of a Healthcare Activist, May 2019. I'm coming in from the Khao train station in Centurion. I've just finished a visa process. Uh, I hate and detest getting visas, especially when it's complicated, um, to go through for the Women Deliver Conference in Canada. So reflecting on the past two days, it's been quite exciting. My business partner and I um, started putting together branding for our company. Um, so, so that's taking off. Um, also website loading, so a lot to keep an eye on. Um, getting back from Geneva, quite tired after all the trips as well, but you know, you're never tired when you know that the activism has to continue. Last night I went on to a panel around Afrophobia or um, Xenophobia hosted by Africa Matters and I was just I was very emotional, it was very intense, but I think these sort of dialogues have to happen. So much came out of there, I think. You know, some of the comments were made about how people don't feel they belong in South Africa, and with Africa Day coming up, I think, um, I think that's unacceptable. We have to ensure that every person who visits our country feels, um, feels welcome, and it's home to everyone. It reminds me a lot of the race discussions and how there's a need for respect, for tolerance um, and, and you know, open dialogue for others, listening to others' perspectives and empathizing. I also read the South African National Plan Against Xenophobia and Racism. I would recommend it and I'll post about it soon as well. And I think overall something that was also interesting was the effects of Afrophobia. So it's not just how we as South Africans treat others and the hatred there, but the hatred which will come from the other side. So there's so much to consider this Africa Day. Um, for me, it's been an exciting two or three, uh, two or three weeks, um, looking to wind down for the weekend, of course.